Hi there, in this video we're going to have a look at the Sonoff S60 TPG Smart Plug. So the Sonoff iPlug is available on the Itiad uh, website, itead.cc. Um, I've put a link to it uh, in the description below and you'll also get a discount as well. So check that out. At the moment it's showing us uh, $10.90. Um, with free shipping over $89. Uh, it says at the bottom there that it's not available in stock again until the end of early April 2024 when I made this video. So you might have to wait. It was in stock and I think it's just gone out of stock again. Yeah, so check it out on their website. Link in the description below. So what are some of the features of the new Sonoff Wi-Fi plug? Well, obviously you can use it uh, remotely. You've got voice control as well over it. There's uh, an added overload protection, so you can set um, a kind of maximum in there. We'll have a look at that when I go into the settings actually in the uh, app. Obviously, we've got energy monitoring, so we've got lots of energy data coming in, which is really good. We've got the classic kind of inching mode, and we've got LAN control as well. So some more features and facts. The maximum load you can run through this is 3,250 watts, and the input is at 13 amps maximum. Obviously, some of the other plugs are slightly higher. Uh, some are 16 amps and 20 amps uh, on other brands. So they've stuck with quite a high load of over three kilowatts at 13 amps. So don't forget, it still works with and Google Home and it works with Home Assistant that we'll have a look at at the end of the video and the uh, EWI Link app as well. So there are two versions of this plug. There's the sort of UK version, the TPG, and then there's the TPF. Um, the difference is, there's a slight difference between the two, admittedly. Um, the UK one is 13 amps, but the TPF is 16 amps, and the max load is slightly higher on the TPF as well. That's uh, 4,000 watts or four kilowatts. Um, and there's a slight few other changes. Obviously there's size differences because of the way it's been uh, been made for the plugs. So having a close up look at the plug itself, um, we've got a few different things happening really. We've got a few small lights at the front. We've got the, uh, is it on light, little tiny LED on the front. And then we've got the Wi-Fi. Uh, light on it as well which is shown on the top on the left and we've also got the QR code is actually on the top of the plug which is really good because you can just scan it from the top instead of it being hidden when you've actually got the plug uh, plugged in so that's on the top and then as usual we've got the on off switch on the side of the unit and that's also used for pairing when you hold it down for kind of five seconds as well. But let's compare the Sonoff with some other makes. So the Sonoff is on the far left. And we've got the Give Energy version or Wi-Fi plug in the middle. And then like an unbranded but Toya kind of version on the right hand side. As you can see, the Give Energy and the Toya are very, very similar in sort of shape and design. But you can also see that the Sonoff one is definitely um, a bit thicker uh, and would stick out from the wall a bit further as well. If we just give them a quick measurement, uh, we can see that the Toya one's about 32 and a half millimeters, so 3.25 centimeters. And if I have a look at the Sonoff one, and then we're looking at kind of uh, 41.8 millimeters. So, you know, 4.2 centimetres that would stick out from the wall. If we have a look at the diameter of the face. Uh, Sonoff one is about mm, 57.44 millimetres across. And you'll find these are all fairly similar, actually. 57.63. So there's not a lot in it, really. So let's get it added into the eWe Link app. I'm just going to add a device. And I'm going to scan the top of the uh, plug. And there we go, straight in. No messing about. So then it's telling me to basically uh, add the device. And then plug it in, which I've done already. 
and then hold the button on the side of the plug for five seconds in order to put it into pairing mode. Now check the Wi-Fi LED indicator is flashing on the top blue, which it is. And then basically it's found it straight away. And I've chose connect to the device. And I just need to connect to my router with my Wi-Fi password. And then it's discovered it straight away. And then I just click done, unless I want to rename it, of course. And there it is popped up on the top of the app straight away, telling me it's on or off and telling me the kilowatt hours today and during the month and the current power in watts as well. So if we click onto that, we can then see the big power on button. And then you've got various other options such as scheduling the plug to come on and off as well as a timer. So we can add a timer in there to turn the uh, plug on or off in a certain time and the loop timer as well to continue kind of turn it on or off. And then we can also click on the device settings and have a look. The current version is 1.1.1, which looks to be up to date at the time of recording. And then we've got these threshold settings. So we've got the maximum power and you can put a minimum power in here as well as voltage minimums and maximums as well. And the max current of ampage, which is currently set by the looks of it to 14 amps. So then if you click on uh, read more, you get to see more information about the energy overview. So you can see currently I'm drawing 12 watts uh, through a lamp and uh, 240 volts. And then there's a graph underneath where you can see your daily, monthly or yearly usages as well. And you've also got the uh, the day where you can move months or days or years along the bottom. You've also got the option to download your data, which is nice in the uh, downward arrow in the top right hand corner. Now I'll bring it into the Amazon app. So I'm going to add a device. And then I'm going to tell it that it is a plug. And the brand, I'm going to say it's EWE Link. I'm going to say, yes, it's turned on. Now I've already added the uh, EWE Link or Cernoff skill uh, into the um, Amazon app as well already. So there you go. Plug needs to be set up. Yes, yes, yes. Can you control it via the app? Yes, because I've already installed it. Now it's going to just, now I'm just going to fast forward the video uh, while it's going to take a minute. It's found it, connected it next, and it tells me where do I want to put it. Well, I'm going to put it in the office, add it to the group, and it's added it to the group. And now if I go continue, I should be able to then uh, see the plug on my main kind of dashboard, and I can ask. ALEXA to turn it on. So there we go. Recently added at the top the S60 TPG. And at the moment, all I can do in here really is enable it, disable it, change the name, etc. All right, so we're now into Home Assistant. I'm just going to go to Sonoff here. So here we are with all my items that I own currently. And we've come straight in. And the Sonoff S60 TPG is in here already. It's not been given an area yet. The light is still on. Hopefully it is because you can see that it's on. 12 watts, 240 volts. So we've got energy day, energy month. So that's quite nice to see already. So I don't have to do extra work in order to... Um, run a kind of internal cron job a timed event within home assistant in order to gather that uh, data every day and every month energy year is not in here so i guess you would probably have to sum the months or sort that out uh, within home assistant yourself here are our values for our s60 tpg in home assistant so these are quite nice because they're their own entities as opposed to being inside attributes or attributes 
Uh, so the current 0.06 energy day, energy month, nothing, nothing. Power 11.92, the voltage in there as well, and whether it's on or off. So that's the end of the video. Um, yeah, do I like them? Yes, I do like them. Um, I kind of like that they've got the LEDs on the front here. I like that the QR codes on the top. Um, they are a little bit fatter than some of the other plugs, as you, as I sort of demonstrated already, and that they stick out of the wall a little bit more. Um, you know, but otherwise, I think it's a really good value Wi-Fi energy monitoring plug um, from Sonoff. Um, mainly because obviously we've got the recorded we've got the voltage in there we've got the current power the uh, daily sum of the power and the monthly uh, sum of the power used as well so that's really good data to have uh, and quite easy to access whether you're in the app or whether you're using home assistant would i buy a few more of these yes i certainly would certainly where i didn't think that kind of zigbee would uh, reach really in the house or that i wanted uh, to use wi-fi instead of zigbee really uh, the other alternative that i did use to use for a power monitoring system from sonoff was the old uh, powr2s now these were really clunky things uh, i've only got this one but i still do use it for testing things and i had to kind of put uh, a plug socket uh, an extension trailing socket on the end and then i normally have a plug uh, sorry on the other end and uh, yeah, these were okay, but um, they didn't really give you sort of many um, values and they're quite cumbersome really when you have to come up with this kind of compared to just kind of using this really. Um, so yeah, so that's it. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did give us a like and don't forget to leave your comment below. Um, if you're not a subscriber, please remember to subscribe to the channel as it really helps me out. And I'll see you next time.